Today we are going to learn to write about another animal, camel. We are also able to domesticate camels. Now when we talk about camel, we talk about an animal with a hump, long curly neck, small little ma eyes, big mouth and you think about a camel walking on the beach, beach full of sand. They have a different type of leg. When you talk about camel, you also say, oh desert. So it's got another name, ship of the desert. Now camel, you can go number of days on a journey without food or water. Then what else do you know about camel? Yes, some people eat, drink camel's milk. Then there are two kinds of camel. One with a single hump and there is one bacterian camel. They have two humps. Mostly, these camels are kind and gentle animals. So we are going to learn to write a short composition on the camel. Alright? The camel. So when you say camel, what will we write first? They are large animals that live in and around a desert. Deserts are dry place. So uh, camels are animals that live in and around a desert. Where do we have the desert in India? In Rajasthan. Very good. So we say the camel. The camel is a large animal, large animal, camel is a large animal that lives, you can say in a desert area, that lives in a In a desert. What is a desert? Desert is a dry place. Okay. What is it known and normally known as? Ship of the desert. So you can say it is known as the ship of the desert. It is known, generally known as the ship of the desert as the ship of the desert. Now why do we call it ship? Because just like the ocean that is so large, only a ship can sail. The desert is a huge sandy area and only an animal can, like camel, who has got a different type of leg, can move about in the desert. And they also use the animal for transportation, for traveling, all sorts. So the ship is, the camel is called the ship of the desert. That's how it gets its name then. Why? Why is camel able to live in a desert? Camel can do well without food or water for many days. It can live. You can say it can live for several. It can live for several days can live for several days without food or water. Without food or water. What we said? The camel is a large animal. It's a large animal that lives in a desert. Camel is a large animal that lives that lives in a desert. 
It is known as the ship of the desert. It can live for several days without food or water. Okay. It has a very large bag in its stomach. That means it can eat earlier. It can eat enough food and water, taken enough water, and that stomach stores it for several days. So you can say it can live for several days without food and water. Why? Because it has a very large stomach. It has a very large stomach. It's got a very large stomach and it can store. So it can store enough food and water for a long journey. Long, large stomach. So it can, it can store enough food and water and water for several days for several days so camel is a large animal that lives in the desert it is known as the ship of the desert it can live for several days without food or water food and water you can say not what food and water okay then it has a very large stomach so it can store enough food and water for several days so when the journey is to be made they feed the camel so that it can go on and on without stopping to eat or drink now what is the nature of its feet it has padded feet it has and that is what helps it to move in the desert it has padded padded feet why does it need padded feet which help which help it to walk which help it to walk and run help it to walk and run on the sand only a camel can do that on the sand so we spoke about where does it live in a desert then in what is it known as the ship of the desert then how can it live for several days without food and water because of its large stomach what is what do they do when they go for a long journey they feed the camel enough food and water then it has padded feet which help it to walk and run on the sand only a camel can move about for several days without stopping on the sand now people are able people are capable of domesticating these camel just like we do to horses and elephants now let's talk about where do we find this animal camels are normally found in rajasthan camels are found in rajasthan they are normally found in rajasthan what do they use the camel for it is used for it is used for transportation people need to move about they have to take the things around people need to travel so it is used for transportation transporting goods and people then to carry loads 
to carry loads and plowing fields yes carry loads plowing fields and for drawing water they will be in the oasis in a small pad they'll be well heal and so they need to draw water from the well and for drawing water see it's several uses what are the camels used for camels are found in rajasthan they use for transportation to carry loads people to move to carry loads for plowing the fields the small patch of field they have and for drawing water from whatever source they have now when you talk about the camel what picture do you get in your mind camels have long curved neck they have they have long curved long curved necks neck and a high and a high hum high hum now what is a hum hum is the bulge on the back of the camel okay now there are two types of camel some camels have only one hum while bactrian camel they have two hums that's how they differentiate now what kind of animals are they they are very gentle and kind animals they are they are very gentle and kind animals so the camels are very gentle and they are very kind animal now some people they also drink camel's milk some people also drink camel's milk some people not all some people also drink camel's milk all right now that's about the camel so what are we writing we are writing about a camel an animal that lives in the desert so what is the first thing we are writing where is it found camel is a large animal that lives in a desert it is known as the ship of the desert only it can move in a you can also elaborate in the sand in the stretches of sand thick sand only a camel can move it can live for several days without food and water it can go on and on it has why it has a very large stomach so it can store enough food and water for several days so when they go on a journey they eat drink and then they do not eat in between it has a padded feet it has padded feet which help it to walk and run on the sand hot sand eh? camels are found in rajasthan rajasthan is our indian desert you can also write that but if you are writing a short composition it is used for transportation people to move from place to place sometime that's the only transport camel then it's also used to carry loads plowing the fields and for drawing water then they have long curved neck and a high hump there are two types of camels camels with one hump if you want you can write and 
there are others with two they are very gentle and kind animals some people also drink camel's milk you can elaborate more you can do drawing of it that depends on you but we are writing a short composition on the animal the camel which is also domesticated by man you love to have a elephant toy most of you enjoy isn't it elephants are lovely little animals especially toys are so cuddly now how about writing a short composition on the elephant some of you might have seen an elephant alive how it moves about it's a, one of the fascinating animals so when you want to write about the elephant what is the first thing that came, comes into your mind it's a long tusk it's got long nose long trunk it's very fascinating another thing it has got is lovely large ears like a fan then you have another thing that you think about is the two long tusks that supposed to be the teeth of the elephant but they don't use it long white one ivory then you talk about the back of the elephant nice broad back for children to ride then what is the next thing that you remember is fat four fat pillar like legs and then he's got a very small tail elephant is supposed to be the largest land animal the most fascinating thing is the tiny tail huge elephant tiny tail so we're going to write about how the elephant looks what he likes to eat what he likes to eat tell me mainly fruits leaves and fruits especially the coconut leaves banana leaves oh he loves it so we're going to talk about mostly where do you see the elephants normally in the temples yes temples they take the tem elephant for a ride so today we are going to write about a short composition on the elephant the where do you say the because e e comes first and he is one of the vowel so you don't say the elephant the elephant elephant is also a sacred animal for the hindus okay now when you talk about elephant what do you write first the elephant is one of the largest land animals on earth so you say the elephant is one of the is one of the elephant is one of the largest largest land animals one of the largest land animals largest land animals on earth so first we are talking about elephant we are talking about the size of the animal is one of the largest land animals on earth so that's what we are going to do now we are going to describe him how does he look you must say it has four legs it has got four strong legs it has it has four strong it has got four strong legs how does it look the four strong leg looks like pillars which which look like look like pillars strong big pillars 
So what did we write about? The elephant is one of the largest land animals on earth. It has four strong legs which look like pillars. Then what do you say? It has a long and powerful trunk. That's supposed to be his nose. Then you say it has, it has a long, what a long nose you say no. It has a long and powerful and powerful trunk. It has a long powerful trunk through which it sucks water, through which through which it sucks, it sucks water. That's the importance of the long powerful trunk. Okay, then what else it can do with the trunk? They say the elephant uses his trunk to pick up food, to place it. He picks up food and places in its mouth. So you say the elephant, it uses his trunk, it uses its trunk, it uses his trunk for what? To pick up, to pick up food, okay? to pick up food and place it in his mouth and pick up food and place that's supposed to be his hand also and place it in his mouth okay okay next we talk about the color Okay, now he likes to pick up food. Now what food does he like to eat? He likes to eat fruits, shrubs, leaves. Or what will he say? It likes or it loves to eat fruits. When you say fruits, mainly bananas. Fruits, leaves, leaves and fruits, leaves and shrubs. That's what he likes to eat. Now what about the color? The elephants come in three different colors. They are black, they are gray, there are also white elephants but very rare. Now when you talk about the color you say elephants usually elephants Usually, are black, grey, and and white too. But white elephants are rare. Okay, so you have elephants usually are black, grey and you get white elephants too. Now, male elephants, not female, they say male elephants have long curved tusks. Okay, they say male, male elephants, male elephants have long white long and white tusks okay long white curved
Okay. Elephants usually are black, they are grey, white too. Sometimes we get white also. Male elephants have long, white, curved tusks. And that's supposed to be the teeth of the elephant. Okay. These tusks are the teeth of the elephant. But you need to elaborate it. Now, what is, what is the favorite fruit of the elephant? It loves to eat bananas, bunches of bananas. It loves to eat bananas. People feed elephants at the temples with bananas. Have you seen? Now, people feed elephants with bananas with bananas in the temple with bananas in the temple in the temples then it is a holy animal it is a holy animal for Hindus. And they are very cute animals. So we are talking about, we are writing about an elephant. Now, the elephant is one of the largest land animals on earth. So on the land, it is the largest animal. It has strong four legs which look like pillars. Then you will say it has long and powerful trunk. Long and powerful trunk through which it sucks water. It uses its trunk to pick up food and place it in its mouth. Then it loves to eat fruits, leaves and shrubs. Then we say elephants usually are, they usually come in black, grey and white too. Whites are rare. Male elephants have long, white and curved tusks and they are supposed to be the teeth. If you want you can elaborate on it but it doesn't use its teeth. It loves to eat bananas. People feed elephants with bananas in the temple. It is a holy animal for the Hindus. So when you have to write about an elephant, first picture it. You can also say it has got a very tiny tail, huge body, tiny tail. You can also say that elephant has a broad back for children to go for a ride. You can write all that. Then mainly you see elephants in the temple. Special pujas are done and then you see some elephants in the temple.